Hey, what's up guys? Here's a review on the Striker Katana Crossbow. Sorry for the wind. Um, I'm going to go over the basics of it. Then I'm going to go over the differences between the Katana and the old Striker. So this crossbow is 150 pound of a draw and 360 feet per second. And that's like pretty much what you see in the regular Strikers. Nothing big there. But the things I don't like about it are pretty much the handles. Because I feel like this handle is made for kind of big hands. And this handle is made for like really small hands. I feel like my hands are going to just slip off of this grip right there. But um, it's not that big of a deal though. But um, the thing that bothers me the most, I have to say, it's probably that it's really front heavy. I mean, all crossbows in general are front heavy. But compared to the old striker, this crossbow is way more front heavy. But um, yeah, the third thing I don't like about it is the sling. Because the sling does go over the quiver just like the fang. But luckily I was able to make a modification to it and I put this sling just like the actual striker sling. So I'm okay with that now. But um, anyway, I did take off the limb savers and it still is very quiet. But the reason I took off the limb savers was because I was trying to knock off some of the weight. And yeah, but anyway, I did buy the cheek piece for it. This comes with the bigger version. The bigger version has like holes all over the rail to knock off some of the weight. Hopefully that is a big improvement, and it does come with a bit more accessories. I don't even know. It's probably just a cheek piece. <laughs> probably the most common question I get asked is if it's possible to load by hand. And I can't really answer that question because, first of all, I don't know how tough you are. And second of all, a lot of people said it was, like, impossible to load the Striker 3 by hand. And I was able to do it along with, like, a few other people. So, yeah, I mean, it is possible to load by hand, but loading this thing... It's exactly as if you were loading that crossbow. Only difference is that it's a bit shorter. It is possible, but I mean, I don't know. Like, it depends on you. I am actually having thoughts about selling this crossbow. It's not confirmed. It's just that I'm in that stage where I'm about to buy a new car. And like, I don't know. Like, I have the money already to buy a new car, but I just want to gather as much money as possible before I do get it. And I don't know. I'm just in that stage where like, like you kind of want to sell everything so you could get what you want like even faster but at the end once you do have it you might regret selling everything like i don't know i'm in that stage right now so i don't know if i'm gonna sell it but i will keep you guys posted on instagram i probably will sell it because i only wanted this crossbow so i could use one for hunting and i could pretty much just use the fang for hunting because the fang you could just change the draw weight so yeah like i don't know anyway guys let's shoot it Alright guys, I want you guys to listen to how quiet it is. It's going to be hard to tell on camera, but let's just give it a try. I don't know. Like overall, like it's very quiet for a freaking 360 feet per second crossbow. But um, yeah, like I'm going to shoot it a few times. Um, like I am using gloves to load it so that's kind of cheating. I am able to load it like right now it's just like 40 degrees and I'll admit I probably can't load it more than 10 times because it's so cold outside. But yeah like I'm gonna just take a few more shots of it and yeah. So that's going to be it for the shooting because I'm just breaking all my bolts. But one thing I forgot to mention is that this crossbow does not automatically go into safety. And that's kind of weird, but just be careful. I mean, you can't really dry fire it anyway because it has that little thing. But still be careful. Like, it's going to be in the fire position once you load it. But anyway, guys, um, I honestly think this crossbow looks way cooler than that. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I'm still not sure if I'm going to sell it. That's just something I have in mind. So I will make up my mind so please don't spam me if i'm gonna sell it or not because i really don't know and yeah like anyway guys thank you guys for watching 
Um, I'm probably not going to modify this crossbow because the trigger mechanism is really hard. Like, I thought the trigger mechanism on the striker was tough, but this one is, like, no lie. Because once you pull this one back, it kind of stops it a little bit, and you have to pull a bit harder. So I'm guessing it takes a bit more than 150 pounds to, like, actually cock it, like, with the trigger mechanism. So I'm not going to modify it weaker if you're going to have to pull, like, 150 pounds anyway. So it just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and see ya.